Hello folks, the Celtic Nerd here bringing another nerdy video and oh my god folks, I am red in the face. I just spent some time at the end of the last video going over my thoughts about how the story was going to go. Oh my god. But I did not realise that I was muted. So basically what I said was I was predicting how the story of the smuggler was going to end. Uh, first, we, first we go to Belsavis, talk to this guy's mentor, we learn about Rogan, all that type of stuff. Next, we then will go to, we'll get our permission to go to Voss, we'll land on Voss, and then we'll find out how, who and how he's going to get the cybernetic creatures. We would obviously put a stop to it. And then for the final confrontation, with Rogan and most likely the Void Wolf, is the Void Wolf will probably be leading the Imperial Armada in an assault on Corellia. Because that's how, to my knowledge, uh, the most of the Imperial classes, if not all of them, ended their story on Corellia. And the same went for the truth. So on, it's an educated guess that the same thing's gonna happen with the Imperial Agent, especially when you look at the levels 47 to 50. So, again, fair educated guess that it's going to end there. But yeah, chances are we're going to go there to confront the Void Wolf and Rogan. We might, we might encounter Rogan on Voss, but again, if we don't encounter him there, we'll definitely encounter him and the Void Wolf on Corellia. Where we would defeat him, become heroes of the Republic, and claim our place as you know, rulers of the criminal underworld. And then from that point on, uh, there's the Ilum storyline. Now there's a few storylines besides uh, Ilum that take place, but the first one being Ilum, where we will take on essentially a new powerhouse that has risen in the Empire and he plans to do his own thing. I'm not going to go into details as a spoiler. Then next also, uh, most likely what we would be then tackling is, I need another planet. Is it on Balsavis? No, it's on Balsavis. It's on a different planet. No, not a destiny. Uh, where is it? Um, there's a planet that is it Ossus? No, 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 it's not Ossus. Oh, there it is. It's Oricon. There we go. Next up is then the Oricon storyline. Now, this storyline ties back to Balsavis. Uh, well, at least it did on the Empire side. So, yeah. Then after Oricon, it then starts off into the... Then we get into the expansion packs. So... Yeah, there's <laughs> there's plenty of content afterwards. Now we're not gonna tackle Ilum or Oricon because of the fact that they are shared stories, they're not unique to the class. So after that we will then be moving on to the next uh, class. So yeah. Just want to lay give it basically a layout of what we're doing. Uh, well, my educated guest. Now we're going to go talk to all our companions. Captain, I... <sighs> no good way to say this without sounding like bragging. Got a comm call from Ward Mantell, Governor's office. They've been keeping tabs on what we're doing, and... Captain, they're calling me a Republic hero. Ward Mantell's most storied native son.
You are a hero, Corso. I'm glad someone's acknowledging it. It's not like they're building a statue or anything. Actually, they're asking for our help. Turns out the Separatists were backed by the Empire. They wanted to destabilize the government. When they were defeated, the Empire attacked outright. Ord drove them off, but they left behind some kind of EMP pulsar. They want us to lead their campaign of bloody vengeance? Close. They need the disarm codes for the pulsar. Apparently the thing is in orbit somewhere. They haven't been able to get a lock on the signal. But it's affected every droid, comlink, and terminal on the planet. Complete economic shutdown. How do we help? Thank you, Captain. It'd be nice to give something back to the world that raised me. They're asking us to go to Balmora. The Empire's got disarm codes stored there, but Ord has no troops with the gear or training to go after them. They should be like us. Learn as they go. I don't think most people could survive your kind of school. The codes were stored in a cave with a bunch of other Imperial weapons. Should be a quick snatch and grab, as far as should takes us. Okay, so this is the type of quest I was worried about picking up with uh, followers. So we're just gonna... There we go. We'll check it out. Let's check in on our Wookiee friend. Wookiees are warriors. You shouldn't give that up for anyone. <laughs> I guess you've been wondering how someone like me ever ended up with the Jedi, huh? You don't really seem like the Jedi type. They thought that too. I was always kind of the odd one out in my family. And believe me, it was not a small family. When they kicked me out, I went to Nar Shadda and met a Jedi who said all the weird stuff that happens to me is a connection to the Force. That must have been amazing. At first, I was imagining myself winning lightsaber duels. Getting revenge on all the kids who laughed at me. But it turns out revenge isn't part of the Jedi lifestyle. You've never known real rage until you've been lectured on controlling your emotions by a four-year-old in a robe. You said you were kicked out. I maybe overstated that. They don't really throw people out, you know. Call of the dark side and all that. But it was clear I'd never make the cut. Anything I could do with the Force was basically random. Never even figured out how to work my dead master's lightsaber. I have a name. Huh. Really? Huh. Well, all right then. I know who Zorda Moff Tyrex signed. To execute my clan, it was sent by Imperial Major Stan Wu. I've heard of him. He is a liaison between the Empire and hired bounty hunters. I will kill him.
You can't just walk up to an Imperial Major and blast him. Do you have an actual plan? I'll exploit the Major's position and turn it against him. The Major is hiring the best bounty hunters on Nar Shaddaa. I will go there and present myself as one of them. Once I secure a meeting with Major Stan Wu, all that's left is to pull the trigger. Take your time and enjoy. I recommend aiming for the kneecaps first. There's no honor in torture. But he will live long enough to know why his life is ending. If we do not see each other again, Retursia me. You made it back alive. I assume the Imperial wasn't so lucky. That sniveling worm was no more the architect of my clan's destruction than Moff Tyrek was. I left him alive, wallowing in his disgrace. Major Stan Wu ordered the execution because of lies told to him by another Mandalorian, Tayari Rook. The true crime rests with him. What would make a fellow Mandalorian want to sell out your clan? I will ask the traitor his reasons before I kill him. Rook presented Major Stan Wu with evidence that Clan Spar reneged on a contract. My people were hired to destroy transport ships full of young Jedi. But the Empire's target survived. If Clan Spar had accepted that contract, the Jedi would be dead. Rook framed us. You already know what to do. Find this Rook and stick a blaster in his face. I have already begun my hunt for Teari Rook. I will settle his debt to Clan Spar. Why am I here, Captain? I've been clear about my reason for joining you, but I never understood what you want from me. Am I a hired gun, or is this something more? I may have started that way, but now you're a part of my crew. Your family. We have a proverb. Ali Arisha Taldin. Family is more than bloodline, but it refers to adoption by a clan, not... Why did you assemble this crew? It is too momentous a decision to make on impulse. Do your loyalties truly lie with the Republic? The Republic is a big, self-righteous pool of money, and I've got swimming privileges. The Republic worships its own weakness. They waste their warriors defending those who cannot care for themselves. They call for loyalty to a government of strangers instead of a family and clan. You could do better. I notice we're spending a lot of time together. I'm not complaining, but you know this can't go anywhere, right? Sooner or later I have to leave your ship. I don't want any hard feelings when I do. Does that make sense? I'd rather regret you for the rest of my life than get scared off by your crazy talk. There's just no reasoning with you. Have it your way. If you want to make something of... whatever it is we have, fine. But don't say I didn't warn you. Never thought I'd say this, but you're my favorite partner in crime. You make beating the odds look easy, Captain. What can I say? I'm inspired by a beautiful woman. Just so we're clear, I had a snappy comeback for that line, but I'm not using it out of respect. I've definitely learned a few dirty tricks from watching you work. Think I might have found a few of my own. We'll find out at our next death-defying showdown. I can't wait.
reminder, mechanized travel is for official business only. Later. Glad to be back in action. You're all right.
Magar! Magar! Answer me! We've been waiting for your all clear. Are you there? Blasted Imperials! Who's that? Why would she be calling an Imperial soldier? If they killed you, Magar. Uh, I've already sworn to hunt down every puss ridden Emperor lover on this planet. Hello? You're not my husband. Why are you answering his calm? You first. Why are you calling this man? Oh, blast it! One of us will have to trust first. You don't sound Imperial. I'm Damazine, proud Balmoran, and member of the Resistance Against the Empire. My husband Magar stole an Imperial uniform. He and some friends were trying to get weapons to help us retake our town. Stole a uniform? They weren't really Imperials? Free Balmorans, everyone. Did... did anyone survive? I wish they did. I I'm really sorry, ma'am. I wish there were better words for it. Is there any way we can make it up to you? You were gonna think I'm a cold-hearted old battle axe, but I've lost my sons, my parents. That's no stranger here. What we really need are those guns. Magar risked his life to get them. I hate to think he died for nothing. We owe you that much. Ma'am, we'll bring you the guns your husband was after, or die trying. I hope it won't come to that. Bring me the guns, and I'll pay fair price for the lot of them. We're in hiding behind Imperial lines. Magar's comms got the coordinates. Mechanized travel is for official business only. So, you're the ones who killed my Magar. You look younger in person. It can't have been easy to get these guns here. Thank you. Now what do I owe you? Danla, darling. I just heard the terrible news. It's a tough time for a woman to be alone out here. But don't worry. I won't let anyone take advantage of that. She just lost her husband. Don't go nosing around. Oh, you're her protector now. The way I understand it, you two just killed her husband. Maybe I should defend her from you. I think Danazine can decipher herself who she wants to talk to. Aren't you too sweet? But this is my army, not Danazine's. Whatever she's offering for those munitions, I'll double it. I'm guessing you've got a strong opinion about this. There's no amount of money that would make me give this brute a blaster. Ma'am, you still interested in buying these weapons? Thank you, son. You're a good boy. I hope your mama appreciates that. Now, you move on out. We don't need you anymore. What? This is my town! You're no better than the Imperials. Go see if they'll have you. We'll take back Balmor on our own.
that was a very interesting story and again uh, it sort of paints a picture of Corso's mentality because he is he, his character has always been very much if they're imperial or separatist they die and immediately so like obviously our our characters uh, I guess the impression of that mission is our characters attacked first there is one thing I am disappointed about is we sort of abandoned the quest that we were sent there on to begin with like we did nothing with the codes we got the codes we then picked we we got into that f firefight we picked up the weapons and we delivered the weapons what about the pulsar codes <laughs> like seriously it's just oh that has not been resolved and also corso like it, we haven't resolved corso's inclination of shoe first ask questions later type of mentality when it comes to imperials so there's still some things left unsaid alright but there we go we're now starting uh, we're gonna start most wanted next folks so again like oh boy these little side quests we have the Balsavis like there's still quite a lot and Balsavis unfortunately is one of the more complicated layouts in when it comes to worlds so we'll have to see how well that goes in any case this is the Celtic Nerd sign now one name one sky <laughs>